Oh yeah, oh yeah. Please don't forget to subscribe to my new channel. Cause you know, Mr. Snakey, Mr. Fat Skinny over there is trying to, you know what I mean, take out my channel. So please subscribe to my new, yo, if you were watching this, please subscribe to my new channel. All right, it's the first link down below in the description. All you do, just click the little description button and it's gonna take you to this Aww. section right here. You see that first link right there? That first link, click that link, boom shakalaka, just hit that. It's gonna take you to my new channel, all right? Everybody needs to subscribe to my backup channel because you know Mr. Snakey is slithering in the grass right now trying to take down your boy. So please hit that subscribe button, follow my backup channel, and let's see what Kwame got to say. Let's get it. Yo, 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 YouTube, what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D P O V, and we are back. Now, this is going to be a good one, man. I was I was waiting for Kwame's Kwame response because in the video that I made yesterday about Will Smith, I said, yo, this has a this has a lot to do with what Kwame Kwame always talks about, you know, being categorized as a celebrity. And when you're a celebrity, you are obtained to a higher prestige of behavior and mannerisms and you can't do this because you make this amount of money. You can't behave this way. But little do they know that we're all human beings. We all have feelings. We, we all have emotions. So I said that in my video yesterday. I literally said that in my video yesterday. I said, yo, what Will Smith did is what Kwame, Kwame be talking about in his videos. So I know he's about to highlight... Um, a lot of things that he said previously, because once again, hey, say what y'all want to say about Kwame Brown, but he predicted a lot of this stuff. And last night was another prime example of what Kwame been preaching about, about how the media controls these celebrities and how when something when when something happens, they blow it out of proportion and make it seem like he's less of a man but no nah, we are all men at the end of the day we are all human beings so let's hear what kwame got to say but everybody's laughing and and talking about brother will smith will smith just proved everything i was saying correct facts 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 facts, facts. and chris rock did the same thing huh. he just proved everything i said correct people get slapped every day b <laughs> white Fact. people fight and slap people all the time if go to a white bar on the weekend they be drunk as it's hell. almost known that some of these men are gonna get drunk and fight yep yep and it's not overblown in the media mm -hmm. it's not made to seem like this doesn't happen amongst men but for some reason, there's an extra effort to keep black men so tame and so above violence. And, and then there's no situation, especially if you have money, you lower yourself to a standard of violence. And the way I look at that is like, nigga, what? <laughs> the more money, the more no problems. problems. The more money, the more threats. So why in the hell can you be less violent? They are taking the bite out you niggas with all these opinions. Now, Chris Rock is a black man. Chris Rock act as if he don't know that Will right now is a ticking time bomb. Facts. You have this man sat there and did something that I don't think I've ever seen a man do. I don't think I ever seen a man, I don't think I ever seen a man sit there and find out that his wife slept with another man that she was allegedly was supposed to On help. On TV. And without condemning this woman, he sat there and he heard the reason why. Did that. something that most men would be like, what the fuck? Hell no. They're calling them lame. They're calling them soft. They're calling them weak. And all he's trying to do is be that woman's husband. 
for better or for worse. He's not trying to just use the words. He's actually trying to show you what it's like. True. His wife get lifted up while he cheating gets, and being deceitful. He gets she gets a down. show. She gets to talk about it. She gets to embarrass him even worse by posting Tupac poetry. No respect, no regard for this man. And no sisters, not a lot of sisters came out and condemned that behavior and said, whoa, 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 whoa. This man is the type of man that every woman would want to have. And you sitting there embarrassing this brother like this? Max. Hey, man. So while all of you ladies thought that that was strength, oh, Will Smith is so strong. He sat there and heard his wife out. Even after she cheated, he heard her out. Now, ladies, let's get fucking for real. What happens when you find out your man cheated? The first thing most of you ladies do is get violent. The first thing you ladies do is throw some shit around, bust the windows out his car, cut up his tire, burn his Jordans, bleach his Jordan. Mm -hmm. The first Facts. thing y'all do is get violent. Yep. Allegedly, I think I snapped. So yep. you guys want to pretend like men don't have that same human emotion. Will was not better than no man by sitting there listening to that. Will had rage inside of him. Yep. He was embarrassed. Yep. He was betrayed. All of this was on national TV. Everybody's seen it. With all that estrogen around Will, he's a ticking time bomb. Facts. And I said that in my video. Would Will be able to handle that joke had his wife not had an entanglement? Because even the media won't even say what it really was. She fucked the man in this man's house, allegedly. Sheesh. That a man made songs about it, ladies. How would you feel if somebody come into your damn house, some woman come into your home, fuck your husband, make songs about how good it was, make money off of it, and then the media soften the blow and make it seem like it was just an entanglement and not what it actually was, adultery. Hey, man. Kwame speaking the truth. See, what right if, if a man would have did that, if Will Smith would have did that, Ooh, the that, energy would have been, been take all this money, girl. He would have been he a You deserve it. Mm -hmm. You supported him all this long time, and he yep. disrespected you like that. Oh, hell no. Yep. Facts. But a man is supposed to sit there and be unhuman-like. Take abuse. Take cheating. Take hits. And we supposed to be a man. That's what a man is, huh? That's what you think a man is? And that's what's wrong with a lot of our community. See, we don't give correction to our women a lot of the times. They're able to run around and disrespect and do anything they want. And what do men do? We wait on the opportunity to take it out on each other. That's why there's so much killing in the black community. That's a good point right there. We wait on opportunities to take our frustration out on each other. That's and Chris Rock, uh, Chris Rock, that was a poor joke. That was a good point. You've been joking on Jada in 2016, 2022. Enough is a goddamn enough. That ain't no goddamn joke. That man got cheated on in real life. You shouldn't even say Jada right now. You can't understand that? You deserve the side of your face slap. <laughs> in my humble opinion you deserve the side of your face slap that a man can't mourn and deal with the fact that he got cheated on in public without you making a goddamn joke about his wife he should have been able to sit there and just have his goddamn moment and get his Oscar and shout out to Denzel Denzel said it at your highest moments, the devil will attack. So at the highest moment, this little skinny snake made a joke about a man's wife that he himself know that right now, Will Smith is in a place that no man would ever want to be. 
But instead of leaving this man alone, you want to make jokes about it. On TV again. And ain't no damn joke if a woman cheat on you. That's hurtful. Hell no. And vice versa. It's just men, we're not able to express ourselves no more. If we get loud, if we punch something, if we slap the shit out of a woman, this look that different than if they slap the shit out of us. Women are able to get their rage out. He deserved to be pulled hot grits on and all kind of shit. For the same exact behavior. Preach! Hey, I'm going to end it off right there. I'm going to end it off right there. If y'all want to hear the full uh, live podcast, make sure y'all go follow Kwame Brown and go watch. Man, he hey, he is preaching today. Salute to a hey, I knew Kwame was going to be in his bag for today because I said I said in my video yesterday, I said in my video yesterday, I was like, yo, what Will Smith did yesterday is a lot what Kwame preaches about, about this being a celebrity type thing. And I knew Kwame was going to have a lot to say about this situation. And, but hey, he was preaching, bro. So, shout out to deacon uh brown today man he 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 was in his bag like times like this really i i really appreciate kwame in times like this because nobody else is is talking like this nobody else is speaking like this you know what i'm saying so all you hating ass niggas that be just so focused on the drama y'all don't talk about when kwame be in his bag when he be talking like this so this, these are, this is the moments where I'm like, yo, Kwa, hey, this is what Kwame is, 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 this is his purpose on YouTube when he's in his bag like this, you know what I'm saying? So shit like this really just gets my mind thinking and just puts me on another level of, you know what I mean? Just how the world operates and just how, you know, just, just how men need to operate. So Salute to Kwame Brown once again, man. So make sure, hey, make sure y'all go follow my backup channel, okay? I need everybody to follow my backup channel because y'all know Mr. Skinny Ho ass is, is 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 trying to flag me. So, uh, hey, everybody, please subscribe to my backup channel, okay? Look, this is all that you do. Your feelings, are you 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 click on my video and it's the first link right here. All right. It's the first link in the description right here. Please follow my backup channel because y'all know Mr. Skinny trying to, is trying to flag me and, and try to do all this weird shit. So please, everybody, go support my new channel. It's the first link in the description. Please, I will be posting new videos on my backup channel. But other than that, please subscribe to my backup channel. First link down below. Salute to the homie Kwame. I love it when he's in his bag like this, when he's... Really, really talking that talk. Salute to Kwame, man. It's your boy, Damn DPOV, signing out. Peace.